Okay, here I've got Visio Desktop on the left hand side, and I've got SharePoint web page, or site page to be more exact, on the right hand side, and I've inserted the Visio file viewer, which is the Office file viewer, and added that document, as you can see, into uh, the frame. So over on the left hand side within Visio, you can see I can I can zoom in, I can go full screen over there. And on the right hand side, it's also got a pan and zoom window, as you can see, I can zoom in, or I could actually go to page of current. So that's what we have uh, as default. And you can see that there is no links on any of these, no links at all. All right. So over on the left hand side, I, I do have a slight modification to the document shape, and you can see that it potentially could have some information on there. And that information is in this case coming from a table which has got various hyperlinks on them. So if I was to drag uh, the, this particular one onto there, let's say that's project one there, and this is two, and this is three. Okay, you might think, well, what's different? Well, what is different, as you can see, is that the data has been filled in on this. And what I'm going to do is actually change this to uh, developer mode false, because that just hides a lot of the information, as you'll see why in a moment. Right, and now I'm going to apply a data graphic to this. So if I just go and choose a suitable data graphic, then we can see that we've got data graphics applied. And if I was in mode, developer mode true when I'd applied it, that's probably a good way of doing it then though with those fields uh, that you saw a moment ago occupied and now go and apply then we're getting the data graphics applied and that just gives an indication of whether or not those particular hyperlinks are there so you can see that there are four hyperlinks word pdf powerpoint and visio on, on here but this one down here if i was to uh, zoom in we can see it's only got one hyperlink, which is for a Word document. So how does that now translate into a SharePoint web page? Right, so I'm going to save this on the left hand side and I will save it as false for developer mode so that I can hide some of the data. Over on the right hand side here now, I'm just going to refresh the SharePoint web page. And here now we can see I've got that diagram uh, here shown. And if I was to just to hold down a control and click, we can see we've got all of the hyperlinks available to it. So if we wanted to go and see the PDF document, I just select the PDF document and we can see that it opens up as a new tab within the browser. Select on this one, select on the PowerPoint, and um, we see that a new tab is being opened up within the browser. So this one has only got one uh, hyperlink. So just clicking on that is going to open it up, as you can see, into that particular uh, document there. So by using this, we can use this as a way to navigate to a lot of our documentation. And we can, if we wanted to, obviously do the same sort of zoom that we had over on the other side. So we've got a large diagram, it enables us to, to zoom in and out. So multiple hyperlinks uh, available to us with a control uh, key down and doing a left mouse click, they become available to us. So that is one way of doing this. This tab, I've just opened up the Visio uh, document in read-only mode directly. So in this case, I've got this capability here of editing if possible within the web, but this has got um, some data connections here, which stop it being edited in the web. But if this person had desktop app, which I have, I could open it up and edit it. Therefore, I would probably for general consumption not have it editable. Right. Now, what we've got over here is a shape data or shape info panel. So when I select on one of these shapes, we can see why I hid 
or those hyperlinks that was in the shape data view within let's see over here uh, I can't see them now if I go and select this to true over there and then select this see those links there going back to the files which are uh, read-only links all right they're being displayed here and in this mode uh, in the SharePoint web page you can see that the hyperlinks are being shown here as well so I could go and click on one of these directly from there and it opens that up within the uh, browser as a new tab so I've gone directly to that in read-only mode so that enables us from the Visio diagram direct to go and have this ability going around and in this case we've got this shape info panel which is listing all of the links that we might want to go and see so that is all available out of the box here with Visio and with SharePoint part three So now we've, what we can see here is a SharePoint site page and I'm just going to go and add in what I used before was the file viewer, the Microsoft file viewer. There is a diagram frame that you can download from the Office Store uh, written by uh, another Visio aficionado and if I insert that frame we've now got the ability to configure. So in here I go and choose the drawing that I want to display which if I go to my site into my documents and I've got it under my frame this diagram there with links open that it will now appear in there so in this case you can see that is left exposed if you want them the uh, toolbar at the top and at the bottom so under this drawing diagram drawing at you know interactivity I could switch off pan and zoom and all this going on or hyperlinks I'm going to leave that on and leave it as that so now we've got that uh, inserted what do I get that's different what I get I've got this available at the top which gives me the shape info panel as you saw is available uh, in the Microsoft viewer but is not exposed by uh, the general office file viewer uh, so here I can now get to this as a and see those links from there and choose to go and follow those links from here directly and gives me an open tab as you can see so uh, we've got this uh, uh, ability of embedding them in. Now if that isn't enough then uh, we can also create a custom version of this which is uh, a little bit more perhaps customized for a particular use. So the choice is yours is do you want to go with all this out of the box features and show you uh, how you can create all these hyperlinks that are reading or documents within your SharePoint library and opening them up in read only mode for you to navigate around, or do you need anything more? Okay.